Welcome back. In the last episode, we talked about how to design any tiny house. Some very important tips for anyone to get started. In this episode, we're going to be showing you how we are designing the tiny house master plan. We hope you enjoy. So this house needs to be designed for just about anyone, which is really hard. Because you remember from the previous episode, I said you have to design a house around a person. What's their lifestyle? What's their priorities? So we're making this house as best as we can. So it would be amazing for anyone to have. The second thing, it needs to be designed to go across Canada. That's crazy that it's going to be driven all the way across this huge country. So we need to make sure that it was aerodynamic. The last design parameter is that this house needs to be drop dead gorgeous and serve the function of being a portable concert venue and place that I can teach my workshops from. That's what the tour is going to be about. Friday night entertainments and also the workshop. On Saturdays and Sundays, I'll be teaching people how to design and build their own tiny house. By the way, if you have not yet, make sure to subscribe. It is one of the two steps for you to win this house. The other one is to go onto the website and fill out the contest form. You might be the lucky winner of this tiny house. Okay, so now you understand a bit more of the design parameters for this house. Let's now take you through a grand tour. The first place any house begins is a foundation, and we could not have a better foundation underneath us. We have state-of-the-art axles from Timbrin. These axles are called Timbrin Silent Rides, and each axle can carry 8,000 pounds for a whopping 24,000 pounds of weight capacity. We're likely close to half that, but better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Now these axles are special for a few reasons. They have all these features to them, which make them Extraordinary for any trailer, but particularly a tiny house. They have Aeon rubber springs. They've got a cross support member for extra strength. And they've got a 12 inch control arm. Now if that's all a bunch of mumbo jumbo because you're not a trailer expert, here's what it does mean. It means that the house is lower to the ground, which means more stability, a lower center of gravity more safety on the road, and more space inside the house. Closer to the ground means you can have more space inside before you hit that 13.6 cap that we talked about last episode. I can't recommend these axles enough. Obviously, I'm gushing here. <laughs> if you want to know more about Timbrin's axle systems, check out their website down below. They've got some pretty phenomenal other axles besides even these silent rides. The other part of the trailer is built and engineered by Oasis Trailers, one of the leading companies in Canada, probably North America, for building tiny house trailers. They build all other sorts of trailers as well, but I wanna tell you why this trailer is probably the best trailer that I've ever seen for a tiny house. The first is that we have a lowered in floor, so we get more space again inside the tiny house. Second, we have a lowered gooseneck. This is unique. Not many tiny homes will do this, because normally if you're going to do a fifth wheel or gooseneck connection, that neck has to clear and connect into the back of a truck. And so you have the sidewalls of the truck, which get in the way, you need to clear. But by lowering that gooseneck and using a flat deck truck, you actually get that lower gooseneck and more space inside the house once again. Another good feature of the trailer design is the perimeter flange. So when you go to attach your house to your trailer frame, you don't want to just fall off, right? So you got to make sure it's well anchored. By having this perimeter flange around the entire exterior of the trailer, we can bolt through the bottom of our walls, through this perimeter flange, and the two can never be separated. The last cool feature that they've engineered on is jacks on all four corners of the house, providing total control and leveling wherever it goes. Now, after you've established your foundation, you need to put up walls. And I want to tell you a little bit about walls, and then I'm going to share with you some really cool products. So when you pop up your walls, you've got a few key components. You've got your framing, usually wood or metal. That's like the skeleton of your house. 
Next layer is something called sheathing, like a sheath for a sword. And that is usually plywood or OSB. It's attached to all the studs and it provides incredible structural strength and makes your house a box. After that, usually comes a house wrap. Something you wrap around the whole house and it's like a, it's like a track jacket. It breaks the wind, slows air infiltration, and it also slows water infiltration. After that, a lot of people put their siding directly on, but it's nice to actually put one other layer in between the house wrap and your siding. And that's called a rain screen, but that allows your walls to breathe. Then lastly comes your siding. So now that I understand those layers, let's show you some cool products. Wall FX is providing our steel studs. And I gotta say, for a tiny house, steel studs have a lot of benefits. First, they're fabricated incredibly straight and they're incredibly strong, particularly for their weight. They usually weigh 10 to 60% less than wood studs. And when you've got a tiny house and you're building on a trailer frame, every little pound that you can take off means that your house is gonna cost less to move down the road. Extra weight means a bunch of variables that you may not wanna have. So, steel studs are beneficial for all the above. Steel studs come with one con though you should be aware of, particularly for the cold climate, and that's that they can transfer cold. We don't want the cold moving through a solid material and transferring into our homes, causing condensation issues and costing us more money in heating. You have to put an outsulation, an insulation <laughs> material that goes on the outside of the house. Which brings me to the second product I'm excited to share with you, zip panels. Now zip panels are made by a company called Hoover Products and they have one variant of their zip panels that's an insulated zip panel. There's three layers to this product. The first one is actually a foam layer. So you actually get that cold transferring stopping. It can't pass through it. This goes around the whole house now. The next layer in is OSB, oriented strand board. The third layer is the house wrap. It's an integrated layer, so now you have three steps of construction in one product. Well-engineered and well-made Hoover products. If you want to check them out, you can find WallFX and you can find Hoover products link descriptions down below. Now that we have our steel studs and we've wrapped the whole house in these insulated zip panels, we now get to use our exterior siding. We're excited to have Monarch Exterior Centers as our sponsor and to be using a very specific product uh, as a company I'm gonna share with you a little later on in a future episode. We are going to be having an off-grid setup on this tiny house. Solar panels along the one angle of the roof. We're gonna have a combined heating system in there of both automated using propane and a wood stove. I gotta give a shout out here to two companies. The first, is Alterna Mechanical. Tom is our designer, our systems integrations expert. He actually helped design the systems for this house. The other company I'm excited to share with you is Cubic Mini Wood Stoves. It's the same wood stove that I have over my shoulder you can see right here. It's the Grizzly model. And we're gonna be using them very proudly in the Tiny House Master Plan Tiny House. Now, let's go and check out the inside of this house. Let's start from front and move our way all the way to the back. On the front, on the gooseneck, is a living room. We have a custom couch that's being built on there, built by Sports Shop Upholstery. She built my couch, the one I showed you earlier. It has a water tank and storage systems integrated into it. What's cool about this living room, though, is Sure, it's got a couch, it's got a whole storage wall on the end, but it actually converts to being a secondary bedroom. Pretty cool. Coming down off the gooseneck, there's a secondary living area, which has a little bit of a mini office spot and a breakfast bar. There's a peninsula counter that comes out and it continues around to a sink, with a nice window above it, and then around to the wall, which has most of the appliances on it and cabinetry and storage. Basically, that kitchen, this secondary area, and the living room up above form this one great room. 
I mean, you can kind of imagine being in the kitchen and doing your prep work and interacting with guests and people sitting up in the living room or sitting at the breakfast bar. We just locked in Superior Cabinets as one of our proud sponsors, and I'm really excited to share with you what they can do. Coming further into the house, there's a hallway which goes to a bathroom and to a bedroom. The bathroom is going to be particularly special. We have some very uh, interesting features in the works for you, so we don't have as much to show here yet because we're still nailing those down in terms of design. Just so you can kind of feel out the room though, when you step in this room, you got a toilet immediately on your left, glass enclosed shower stall, and then we go washing machine next to that with a vanity slash sink on top of it. So if you back out of that bathroom and continue on the hallway, you arrive at the master bedroom. It's not that big of a bedroom, but it's incredibly multifunctional. First, it's got a Murphy bed that folds up into the cabinetry. That bed can fold down, and yeah, it's a double bed, comfortable enough. But what's cool about it is there is a box enclosure which fits that same Murphy bed spot where the bed folds into, and that box folds down on top of the bed, turning it into a double bed desk. <laughs> so the bed is all hidden and gone, you've got this big long surface, for doing office work on top of. There'll be a window behind that as well where this box enclosure folds out. So now you have this really interesting uh, window that's tucked in the enclosure. Both the beds we have a sponsor for, Foam King. So <laughs> we can rest easy knowing they're on our team. We've mentioned the house is going to be a portable venue. So the whole back wall of this room folds down. It's going to be motorized and weather stripped and I could not have asked for a better sponsor than Zero Squared. Now Zero Squared makes high-end, highly engineered tiny homes as RVs. And one of the things that the RV industry has is slide outs and they have researched and developed their own slide out technology. The house will have an FM transmitter. They'll have a projector screen that drops down to cover that whole spot where the wall just dropped. And now you have a presentation stage, a big presentation drop down screen, and integrated sound systems. Huge thanks to Silent Monkey, a company that came on board that makes stage setups just like this. Sound systems, light systems, and stage design. And they're going to help make us this incredible custom concert venue. Now, yes, if someone gets this house, <laughs> that may not be as useful as a stage for them. But you can imagine an office with a fold down wall, maybe a screen to keep bugs out, and you have an open air office. Or maybe you're gonna simulate like a camping experience, and that's your bedroom, and it's exposed to the night air. The roof design being what it is, there's actually an extra space to put a deck. So we're putting an integrated deck into the roof line and it will provide a secondary stage space. The wall drops down, but there's actually a deck above. And so you could put performers, entertainers, or teachers on either space to reach people from. As you can see, this house is something truly unique. It is only possible through an amazing community of sponsors. You too could become involved in the Tiny House Master Plan. If you're a business or would like to be a celebrated sponsor on this project, please reach us through our website form. Another way to get involved is to use our link through Kofi.com. So put the link down below and you can donate any amount of money, any size denomination that will help this house get built. Lastly, you are supporting us right now by watching this. Thank you for helping us reach more people by subscribing to the channel and sharing this video. We look forward to future videos with you and thank you once again for joining us on the Tiny House Master Plan.